You've got questions? Andrew Mason has the answers. This is Mason's Mailbag, presented by Prime Sport. Back here for the Week 8 Mailbag. We're inside the UC Health Training Center. I'm Andrew Mason. Thanks for joining me. Let's get started with a question about Todd Davis. If he can't go, of course, he has a high ankle sprain. This one's from Mitch O'Neill. If Todd Davis can't go, what would change for the defense with Zaire Anderson in at linebacker? Well, in terms of what the Broncos do and how they do it, probably not all that much. They're similar types of linebackers, especially in terms of how they play the run. Now, Zaire Anderson is certainly a thumper. He's got a reputation as a hard hitter. We've seen that in training camp. We've seen that in the preseason. Losing Todd Davis if he can't go, and of course, with a high ankle sprain, that's something you want to be very careful with. You don't want to rush him back. So if you have to go without Todd Davis, certainly you'd lose something. He's having a very good season. He's emerged as a key player in the Broncos' defense, and you could see last week in that goal line stand, Watch how he attacks Melvin Gordon. Watch how he reads the gaps as they develop and does a good job of filling them. That goal line stand doesn't happen without Todd Davis's work. So if he can't play, you're going to lose something. But Zaire Anderson, very good against the run. I think the interesting thing to see is what would happen in more pass coverage type situations. Now, Davis, he's primarily a base package linebacker in the 3-4, but you'd see him have some coverage responsibilities on tight ends. So would Zaire Anderson assume those responsibilities, or would you see maybe a little more of Will Parks coming into the box because that linebacker might have to do some things in coverage against Travis Kelsey in particular because we know what kind of trouble Kelsey can cause for the Chiefs. So it'll be interesting to see what the Broncos do if Todd Davis can't go. But certainly with Zaire Anderson, You know he can be a thumper against the run. If he can shoot the gaps as well as Todd Davis has, the Broncos have a chance to be able to defend the run as well with Anderson as they have with Davis. Next question about the offensive line, also injury-related. This one's from Twitter, at Mule Poker. Monk Jones is his name. What's the latest update you've heard on Watson? Should we be hopeful for a Monday return? And how is McGovern progressing? We'll start with Menelik Watson, of course. Uh, he's certainly progressing well coming off the calf injury. It seems like the week off really helped him and was what he needed to get back on track. All signs point toward him playing Monday night based on what we've seen and, and heard about his practice progress so far. Barring a setback, I would expect that he would be able to go at right tack on Monday night, and that would be a good sign, especially for the Broncos' running game. It, he's a road grader type blocker, and if you're going to get the running game going back to where it was in weeks one through four, you need Menelik Watson over on that right side. As for Connor McGovern, you know, had a very impressive spring, a very impressive summer. Him not being out there, more a function of the fact that you've had good health from the starters on the interior at the offensive line, at the guard spots, and of course, Matt Parrott is at center holding up well coming off the two hip surgeries. That's been crucial for the interior of the offensive line, particularly in run blocking, which most of the season has gone pretty well for the Broncos, although there have been struggles in the last couple of games as the, run, as the running game hasn't, quite been, hasn't been quite as productive as it was before. There have been some questions. I've gotten some emails and tweets and some conversation on the radio about, hey, you know, Connor McGovern, could he go play tackle? He did at Mizzou. Yes, he did do it at Mizzou. Was a left tackle and right tackle there, but he hasn't been a tackle really since he got to the pros. His experience has been on the interior at Garden Center. So at this point, probably a little bit of a stretch to ask him to go outside. Uh, Maybe it's something that could happen in an emergency. He does have that flexibility, but all the projections, all the work that he's done in the pros has been on the interior. So if he gets a shot at some point because of an injury at one of the three interior spots, that's where it would happen. Thanks for the questions. If you want to join us next week before the Broncos trip to Philadelphia, which will be their first to the city of brotherly, brotherly love in eight years, go to denverbroncos.com slash Mason's Mailbag. I'm on Twitter at Mace Denver. Use the hashtag Ask Mace. Listen to myself, Ryan Edwards, and Steve Atwater every weekday from 10 to noon on 1st and 10 at 10 on orange and blue 760 or of course 
find the stream on orangeandblue760.com or on denverbroncos.com or on the Broncos app. Until next week, take care and thanks for watching.